Hi everyone, welcome back to Trini Kids TV. My name is Auntie Shade and it's nice of you to join us. So before we get started, you all know that we have to sing our good morning song. So let's sing the good morning song together. All right. Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning, it's nice to see you too. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning. It's nice to see you too. And a very good morning to all of you that are watching. Now, let's see the days of the week and the months of the year. Do we know what day it is today? What comes after Thursday? I'll give you a hint. It starts with the letter F. Yes, Friday. Friday starts with the letter F and today is Friday. And not only is it Friday, it is Universal Children's Day today. Did you know that? Great, so now let's sing the days of the week. The days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Do you remember what month we are in? Yes, we are in the month of November. So can we say the months of the year? Let's go. The months of the year are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Great. So now, now let's talk about the weather. But before we talk about the weather, we have to sing, yes, you guessed it right, our weather song. So let's sing the weather song together. What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today, today? What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? What's the weather like today? Now we can go and look outside our windows and see what kind of weather we are having today. Well, where I am, it's a cloudy day. And we all know what cloudy means, right? It's when the clouds block the sun. On a cloudy day, it could also mean that there could be some rain. Now let's talk about our color of the day. Do you know what our color of the day is? It's the color pink. Pink is our color of the day. Do you know how you get pink? Well, you get pink by mixing red and white together. That makes pink. And pink is our color of the day. Now, Let's talk about our shape of the day. Our shape of the day is a circle. Can you draw a circle with your hands? A circle is round like the sun or the moon sometimes. Circle. Now our letter of the day is the letter X. We don't have an area for the day that starts with the letter X, but we do know of an instrument that starts with the letter X. It's a xylophone. 
Now can we say our alphabet together? Are you ready? Okay, let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Great job, everyone. We sang our alphabet together and that was wonderful. You all did great. So, can you guess what our number of the day is? Well, our number of the day is the number of fingers you have on one hand. Did you guess? It's five. Can we count them? One, two, three, four, five. Our number of the day is five. And we have five fingers on one hand. Now let's talk about our lesson for the day. Now we had a whole week of activities, making fun stuff that you all could play with. Today we have an air hockey game that we can make and we're going to make it using our pizza box. If you have a pizza box or any kind of little box you have that you can cut out and use for this activity. Now you're going to need some tape and also something that you can use for your hockey stick. It could be a old, um, a circular cork or anything you have, all right? So we're going to use our imagination and we're gonna to get to work. Now we also have another activity that you can do, but you can make a edible book using lettuce, tomatoes, and cheese. So you can try that out and see how you like it. All right, so for our craft today, we're gonna to make an air hockey. Right, so I'm using an old box here, Crick's, an old Crick's box or whatever box you have. If you have a pizza box, you could use that. If you have this smaller one, you can play finger hockey with this one. Now, of course, you could, I have um, an appropriate size cover that I'm going to use for the hockey. And then I measured out the side of my box there and I also drew um, a rectangle where this is where I'm going to cut out my um, this will be the goal for the hockey so you're gonna start by cutting out your whole area What you're going to do is just use some tape and get it all together. Alright, so there we have the whole area. So now you can use your tape. Alright, so I have some masking tape. I'm just going to use some of the tape here. It's just to secure it in place. So you have your goal. You can just put tape on either side just to make sure that it stays put. You can also run some glue on this as well. Now of course you could beautify a box by probably painting it. I I think I might paint mine. So you could paint this masking tape as well. There you go. Right, 
want to want to satisfy with the steadiness of your right so what i'm using is a piece of um foil roll that i cut down as my um thing to hit hit the ball or the pop and you could also use just your finger right okay? finger hockey so you could try and shoot for the goal and your opponent will try and block the goal from entering so that's basically the craft for today so just make sure you have a lot of fun with this craft you can beautify a box like i have some brown paper here so i'm going to cover my my stuff with brown paper and paint it nicely